Do you want to build your confidence and keep leveling up for 2024? Hey, Rose, I'm back with another video for you guys. If you don't know me, I'm Rose Tanaya, a 21 year old college student that's also an artist, fish person, and business owner and content creator. Here to help you. I really hope this video helps build your confidence and help you learn some self love. All that good stuff. Anyways, let's get going. To start off, honestly, for a long, long time, I struggled with confidence. Could you believe it? Yes. And I really feel like everybody does, honestly. You know? You're growing up, you struggle with a lot of stuff. You struggle with confidence. You struggle with your self love journey. But at the end of the day, I am here to help you guys love yourself, learn yourself, forgive yourself, and heal yourself correctly and in a healthy way. Anyways, here is 10 ways to build confidence and also obviously how I keep myself going even on a bad day because we all have bad days. But guess what? I know it's cheesy to say, but really, really, the storm don't bless ever. It may feel like it can because if you feel like a hurricane and all day, everything in your head, all that stuff, but nah, you're you gonna get through it at the end of the day because guess what? God gives his heart to the strong not only that, if, if, if it wasn't meant to hit me, it would have never hit me. The good, the bad, the in-betweens. Everything happens for a reason, even though I hate saying it, but it's the truth. Like, everything happens for a reason. It's either a blessing or a blessing. Say it with me. Blessing or a blessing. Okay. Number one. I need you to look in the mirror and say some nice affirmations. For example, I'm powerful, I radiate confidence and beauty, or my favorite one that I made, I love myself through and through. Short, sweet, and simple, straight to the point. You got it. do your hair, fix your ears, say it. I love myself through and through, from head to toe, from toe to head, all that. All that good stuff. Because if you don't do it, who gon' do it? Who gon' do it for you, man? Who gon' do it for you? Number two, set achievable goals. Break down your larger goals into smaller goals. Manageable steps to help build your sense of accomplishment. So that way it's easier for you to accomplish them. You're not struggling where it's like, damn, these goals are unrealistic as shit. Uh, that's not what happened. So guess what? You break it down into smaller goals. For example, I want to get my job license. What do I have to do to get my job I have to practice. I have to practice parallel marketing. I have to practice two turns. I have to practice driving as a whole in order for me to pass my test. Because in New York, it's a very, you know, state, you know. Anyways, number three improve your skills. Invest your time into learning and finalizing your skills you need for the stuff you want to pursue in life. For example, I like to do crochet. Guess what I'm gonna do? When I'm done this video, I'm about to sit down, look at my YouTube video playlist that I have for crochet. We're going to talk or winter or something. Go on YouTube. How to grow today. I'm doing tattoos. This one day. Go on YouTube. Do research. Go on nails. Same thing applies. Not only that, properly in a smart way. Don't be saying, okay, this person got that, this person got that, I need it. No. Not everything works for everybody the same way. Number four, visualize your success. Picture yourself achieving your goals, troubles, your beliefs, and your abilities. Example, visual affirmations. If you imagine it's already yours, even a new job you got the right idea keep doing that because when you visualize like you already got it you're bringing yourself so much closer to reaching those goals i literally i could you not think this was my old video when i was at my old dorm i visualized myself with my camera with my setup i have 
with my monitors and my speakers, you know, I visualized it and I got it. Even though it took a while, I could you not, I bought this camera with my own money. I stacked up my bread and got this camera and all the rest of my gear that I have. And I'm very grateful for that because I literally have two cameras and I'm gonna invest in one this year or next year. I'm happy as heck, but I rarely have to record on my phone unless I'm doing something else. But other than that, I have a camera. I invested in my passion and I invested in something that I want to build for my future and where I'm gonna go with life. So, that's all I'm saying. Visualize it. Because if you're not doing that, you don't really want it. You can't this quote that's on my wallpaper it literally says if you really want it or if you're not gonna do nothing about it don't keep complaining if you want to change if you're not trying to change nothing don't keep complaining about it because you're wasting your breath you're wasting your energy you're wasting your own damn time let's keep the butt you're wasting your own time anyways Number five, which is something I struggled with for a very, very long time. And I still struggle with it now. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're not alone. Number five is embrace failure. View setbacks as opportunity for growth and learning rather than reasons for self-doubt. Learn from your mistakes. Don't beat yourself up. I know that's what everybody sees, but it's the truth. The minute you embrace that shit and you say, yo, you know what? I'm going to sit back and learn from this. Whether you, somebody messes you up, do some weird shit to you, you don't pass the test, something's going on, or whatever heck is going on in your life, view that as an opportunity for yourself to grow. You got me? Number six, dress for success. Wearing clothes that makes you comfortable can impact your self-esteem. Don't be trying to follow the girlies or the people that wear certain clothes and you know damn well you would never wear that. You would not you would not step out your door with their clothes on. Dress how you want to dress. Bro, if you want to wear freaking overalls and a sweatshirt, or you want to wear baggy jeans and a crop top, you want to wear a mini skirt and a sweatshirt whatever you want to wear wear what you want to wear but make sure you're comfortable wearing it and me personally i'm still finding my style yes i have a picture in my head i guess i'm trying to you know envision that but some days shit i just want to go out with some leggings in my hoodie that's it a simple tee and some jeans and into class i'm good other days, you know, I'm gonna dress up, but now this year, I'm definitely, I'm gonna step that up and step up my wardrobe to the one in my head. I'm envisioning myself. Top tier fashionista that's in my head. That's the part. Also, if you look good, you're gonna feel good. And this also correlates to number three. All the stuff you're gonna do, you pay people to do your nails, lashes, your hair. Learn to do that yourself. Cause guess what? Not only are you saving money, don't get me wrong, it's good to support your friends, it's good to support businesses, so and so business and your friend business, whoever business. But guess what? You learn to do that to yourself, guess what? You're you're boosting up yourself in confidence and skill. Your your brain. Your brain is growing every day. But if you know how to do your hair, your lashes, your nails, you're good. You keep doing that. Like, what? People that can do their own hair, I could do my own, like, I could, I, I'm keeping it up with myself. I could do my hair, but I don't have the patience to do my hair. <laughs> so, I guess I put my stuff in a little two strand twist last week, did my little retwist. And it looks okay, it looks good. 
And guess what? I'm gonna keep practicing because doing my hair, doing my nails, doing my lashes, all that is self care for me. And if I could do it myself, guess what that saved me? Time, money, and supply. Like, what? And not only that, it's boosting my confidence. Like, yo, you do something, even if it turns out bad, like, yo, I did it at the end of the day. That shit makes me happy. I did my life until my birthday. I'm like, hold on. I was so happy. I did my nails, even though they wasn't that good. I was still happy. I continue to do something I want to do. Number seven, exercise regularly. Or you can even go for a walk. If you're not on that gym level, or you can do home workouts too. But if you're not on that gym level, we can do home workouts. Literally look up some YouTube videos, look up TikTok. I don't even go on TikTok, so look at them videos, home workouts for glutes, home workout for upper body. Best believe you're gonna find something. So definitely I would say the gym definitely helps you feel better too, especially your mood and self-confidence. And I I'm gonna start going back to the gym. Not right now because it's snowing, but when the weather is a little better, I'll be taking my butt right to the gym. Have yourself a little routine when you go to the gym. Do rubber body, do leg day, do this, do that. Work on what you wanna work on. Nobody's forcing you to do nothing too. Like, I ain't forcing you to do nothing. You take this advice as you wanna take it. I'm not a professional. I could you not, I'm not. I'm giving out my advice to those that need it and those who want it. If you take my advice, thank you. Leave with what you leave with. That's it. Number eight, seek support. Surround yourself with supportive friends and family members or mentors. If your circle is not supporting you, that's fine. Your people will find you. Like when I tell you, the amount of times that don't support me. I don't be shocked anymore. Before I used to be like, oh man, they don't support me. This, that, and the third. Oh my god, like, nah. F that. My people gonna find me. Y'all find me, right? Okay. And not only that, I have friends that are very supportive of me at the end of the day. Not only that, <clears throat> excuse me. Once you believe in yourself, nothing can freaking stop you. Nothing can stop you, bro. You hear no. You hear, oh, I'm sorry. We couldn't accept you at this time. That's that's your that's that's another way of telling you to level up. You're gonna take that shit to the next level. You hear no? Okay. I take that shit as a challenge. Anyways, number nine. gratitude as well you can do both methods and also journal there's so much way to do number nine there's many ways you just have to find which way works for you that is it it's not hard when people say oh um i want to think a certain way i want to move a certain way you know I don't want to be mad all the time. I don't want to be this, that, da, da, da. You got to figure out what works for you. It's a you I want to think a certain way. I want to move a certain way, you know. I don't want to be mad all the time. I don't want to be this, that, da, da, da. You got to figure out what works for you. It's a you versus you type of thing. Anytime somebody asks me, like, yo, how do you do with this? How do you do with that? I cry about it, journal about it, make music, do art, do other stuff. Do what you gotta do and take care of yourself. But not only that, do it properly. Have yourself a routine where you don't have to second guess it. And I'm not, it's, it's not gonna be easy. 
tell you it's on prayer. If you think your healing journey or you just growing in general is gonna be easy, click off the video, please. Like, come on now. But <laughs> without further ado, do what you gotta do for yourself. Put yourself first this year. Care for yourself. Love yourself. Number ten. <laughs> to learn yourself fully, take yourself on dates, do your self-portraits, do all that. Also, do self-care and keep building yourself up. Do what you love to do. If that shit makes you happy, keep doing it. If somebody don't support you, oh well. If somebody hates your shit, dislike your video, leave a weird comment, laugh. Laugh about it. I let you tell my friends all the time now, bro. You just gotta laugh at stuff. You can't be mad Karma's gonna come down, and two, everything's gonna work out for you at the end of the day, definitely 2024, because if you don't now, it's gonna take you even longer to get into that mindset and implement it in your routine, in your daily routine, whatever that you do. And number 11, which is our last tip for the day, face your fears. I'm not saying go do bizarre shit. Like freaking rock climbing, skydiving, or, or you know, do some crazy stuff. I'm not saying that. Gradually confront situations that make you anxious or makes you scared. That shit builds up your resilience like this. I could you not. True story. <laughs> True story. First time driving was. Yeah, my first time learning to drive was with my older brother's stuff. AKA Megamind. <laughs> Could you not? I was scared as shit. It was raining too on top of me. <laughs> so at this point, you know, you have to confront your fears. First thing we did, we drove in an empty parking lot, you know, did turns and U turns, turn. Then, on the main road, ran on the highway, it started raining immediately. I'm quaking in my boots, bro. Quaking in my boots. I'm like, bro, I want to go home. Mind you, I'm talking about his crib. I'm like, yo, I want to go home. Mind you, I'm crying and I'm trying, I'm driving on the highway. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, what are you crying for? Is you good? I'm in the car with you. Da -da -da. <laughs> Looking back at it, it's just funny as shit because now, I drove in it when it was Nothing pouring rain Do you see my many name? times. Do you like so it's like, you? you have to confront your no. fears gradually and at a comfortable pace. Don't force yourself or have anybody peer pressure you into doing something you don't want to do. Say no. No is no. But at the end of the day, once you conquer your fears, you're going to be feeling so good. When I conquer my fears, I'll be feeling good. That, that boost boosts me and my confidence all the way up. And then some ways I keep myself going on my days off are journaling, meditation, praying, or doing something creative like painting, crocheting, doing music. Like literally listen to music and making music helps me relax my nerves so much. Like if music wasn't invented, I don't know what the hell I'd be doing for real. So keep motivating yourself keep pushing yourself no matter what do not i repeat do not give up on yourself don't give up on your dreams either keep going till you accomplish your goals and some more because at the end of the day if you really want it you gonna go for it right okay then so act like it stand on that business same way you be saying you gonna stand on your business with your little thing thing with your little yeah yeah do that with yourself appreciate it appreciate it <laughs> also in order to teach someone to love you you have to understand and fully love yourself first the healing journey is no joke and i commend and give my flowers to those people on this journey just like me furthermore Always remember that you are enough and you are doing an amazing job. You hear me? You're doing an amazing job no matter what you think in your head. 
you may be overthinking watching this or watch any of my videos you're like damn bro like what the hell am i doing what i gotta do you're doing an amazing job even if you feel like you're not you've came so far little you childhood you will be very proud of you you shit you from last year you from two years ago would be proud of where you're at so keep that in mind keep doing what you're doing do what you gotta do and level up for 2024 i love you royals stay blessed stay safe keep manifesting and taking care of you you gotta put yourself first before anyone else know your worth and stand on that peace